Welcome to Camille Care's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a really fun and special uh, dish. It's called chicken balls with Hawaiian dipping sauce. Um, I, I like the Hawaiian kick because we're going to be using some really nice pineapples here and some good barbecue sauce. This dish is extremely easy to make um, and it's actually a really lot of fun. You could do it at home by yourself or you can have some friends come over and help you with the rolling of each chicken ball and then you know eat it together at the end. Uh, we're going to submit this recipe today to the Mambo Licious Cooking Contest. Um, and we're really excited because, as I mentioned before, it falls into the quick and easy as well as the kids eat smart categories. And we've used a really great ingredient, um, this Sanjay Low Sodium Soy Sauce. Um, it's really yummy and it's really good for you. So we're going to get started. The first thing you want to really do is uh, make the sauce because when we start with the chicken balls, we want to make sure the sauce is already ready so we can start dipping right away, plate it up, and give it to our guests. I actually have some friends coming over later, so we're excited about that. Let's start with all the ingredients. A good way to start, I would say, would be the pineapples. It's a little warm. Yeah, let's go with the pineapples. This is a good long spoon because we want to make sure when it starts to sizzle and pop, we have enough clearance. We're gonna put in the Sanjay soy sauce. You're gonna to wanna to get every single ingredient in the pot that was labeled for the sauce, except the cornstarch and the water. I personally like honey flavored barbecue sauce, so that's what we're using today. Quickly stir this around. We're also gonna need about a teaspoon of brown sugar. All right, and we're going to stir this around. We want it to get a little hot. It's going to boil. Let this cook for about two to three minutes. It's going to start to get really bubbly. Oh, you hear that? That's cooking. Nice. We want this to get to a really thick consistency. The brown sugar, the honey, the barbecue sauce. It's going to start, you see those bubbles? It's going to start to be bubbling all over. The pineapples right now are sucking up all of this juice. Let's mix in that cornstarch. So we're going to take the cornstarch, about a half a cup of water. I'd say that's about a half a cup. I'm going to get this mixed until the cornstarch dissolves. That the, the secret in this dish is the sauce. It's when that chicken meets it's really good. Okay, so it's starting to bubble. We want it to come to a consistent boil, two or three minutes. And I'm gonna add in this cornstarch mixture very slowly. This is gonna thicken it. Not too much. Don't be afraid to leave some behind. You can toss it. It's going good. I'm gonna put in a little bit more. And then that's gonna be about it. That's all we need today. Bring this more to a boil. And there you are. This is going to go really great. What I'm going to do is let this finish up here, and then we're going to remove it from the heat and let it cool down. So we'll let this boil for about another two minutes, and then we're going to remove it from the fire. It's looking really yummy. In a medium large size mixing bowl, we're going to put in the two pounds of ground chicken and Camille Cure's dry seasoning mix. It's a mix of, you know, some secrets. Then you're going to add in the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, the flour. And then some baking powder, baking soda, sugar. We're also going to put in some salt and pepper to taste. Remember, we have two pounds of chicken, so to taste. Maybe about a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons, salt and pepper. And what I'm going to do is just start mixing this in because we want to make sure that it's mixed. We're also going to be putting in water, but I, I like to get a dry mixture going first. And then we're going to put two eggs. 
one, two. Make sure I get the egg mixed in. And this is when I would start to put the water in as well. Just a little bit. Remember, we want to get everything mixed in from all of the salt, the secret dry seasonings, breadcrumbs, the flour, the chicken. It starts to make like a paste. And this is the most important part actually to go wash our hands. So now that we have our mixture, we're gonna get a little oil in our hands, just a bit, so we can start making and forming the chicken mixture into little balls. I do this because it would either stick all over my hands while I'm in the process. So you get about a walnut sized mixture, sized mixture into your hands, and you start to make the balls as such. And it comes out to be a little chicken ball. And there's your first one. I want to make sure we're getting about the same amount each time. Because your friends will fight over who's are bigger. And we're going to use corn oil that's been heated here, and we're gonna start putting them in. I personally am not afraid to use my hands. <laughs> it's more fun that way. We're gonna fry till they're golden brown. So right now, they're actually frying up really nicely. That baking powder, baking soda, all the dry ingredients, the flour, the breadcrumbs, they really kind of, you know, get these to Fry it really nice and fluffy. About two or three minutes on each side. And they'll be good to flip. Okay, I think these are just about done. They're nice and golden brown. I'm gonna just transfer them here to my paper towel. As I said, a baby shower, a house party, a game night, any little get together that you want to really, you know, show your guests that you love them. It takes really short time to make these. Um, and everyone likes to get a few in their little desert cocktail plate. Everyone's having a great time. So really good alternatives also like pigs in a blanket, cheese and crackers. Okay, we're just about done with those. We're going to also let these, you know, golden, get golden brown, and then we're going to transfer them over to our uh, paper towel, let them dry out. These are amazing. And then we're going to get that sauce that we put in the fridge earlier to cool uh, and serve right up with them. So now we plate, we're going to plate up our um, chicken balls. And there you go. Once again, um, we want to thank you for you know coming in and looking at Camille Care's kitchen. Today has been really great. We provided a fun way to make a really easy uh, party favor that you know you could share with your friends. It's a really good dish: chicken balls with Hawaiian sauce. Um, ingredients are real cheap, really easy to. Uh, as I said, friends could come and help you, um, and we hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be yummy. Thank you, Mambo Licious.